I want you to see what you did to your wife. I want you to see what you did to the woman that you said you were going to love, honor, and cherish. What she did was take your son's daughter into her life and cared for him. And what you did is take your vows, throw them out your window, and skittled off with a kindergartner. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. They're back. A year ago, Luz and Carlos Ortiz found themselves in Judge Lynn's divorce court after Luz discovered her husband Carlos had impregnated their live-in babysitter, LaShonda. Though the Ortizes now have gone their separate ways, Luz says the divorce isn't working because Carlos and LaShonda make unexpected visits to her home to see Carlos's biological granddaughter, while continually asking Luz for help and financial favors. She has custody of your grandchild, That's correct? That's correct. While he was in Puerto Rico, as a matter of fact, his family were calling me. They called me several times to say, if you ever leave Miss Beckett, please, would you please take him back? And I said to them, no way. Luz, Carlos, and LaShonda are back before Judge Lynn with powerful new testimonies. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Luz Ortiz and Carlos Ortiz and Ms. LaShonda Beckett. Mr. and Mrs. Ortiz, you came here about a year ago, got a divorce. The divorce is final. Uh, I gave Mrs. Ortiz a judgment in the amount of $11,000. I'm going to ask about how much of that was paid. Mr. Ortiz, you're here with Ms. Beckett because you two, you used to be the babysitter of the Ortiz grandbaby. Yes. But now you are the mother of Mr. Ortiz's most recent child. Yes, I am. And before we get started, I want to take a look at what happened last time, and then we're going to find out why we're here this time. Look at her. I want you to see what you did to your wife. I want you to see what you did to the woman that you said you were going to love, honor, and cherish. What she did was take your son's daughter into her life and cared for him. And what you did is take your vows, throw them out your window, and skittled off with a kindergartner. Mm -hmm. I was warm. I was warm because you didn't seem to be at all regretful. Well, Your Honor, I, I have been regretful. I have been uh, remorseful about it, but I cannot turn back the time. And at that moment, time had to continue forward. And I have to continue with my life just like Luz has to continue with, with her, her life. life. OK, very good point, very good point. I'm going to say, you're back here today, Ms. Ortiz, because you want some money. And Mr. Ortiz, you have a request of me as well. That's correct, Which is Your a Honor. very important request, and I want to take it seriously. We won't talk about it now. I'll talk about all of that at the end. But it has to do with the child. She has custody of your grandchild, That's correct? That's correct, that all I right. supported but for her But you didn't to fight that. You wanted her to have custody That's of correct. your grandchild. That's okay. correct. Ms. Ortiz, why don't you tell me what's going on now? Well, first of all, I want to remind him that, in fact, he did not pay the ruling. How much did he pay, if any at all? Because I awarded you $11,000. Well, except, uh, except, except... Hang on, I paid, I awarded $11,000. How much do you say he has paid? He only paid $1,000 of it, and, and I had to take back the vehicle. Ms. That, Ms. That, Ortiz? That was the agreement. That was agreed upon uh, among us that either she gets $11,000, Oh. I'll keep the car, or she keeps the car and keeps paying for the note. Okay. So, so you decided to give her the car. That's correct. Did, did you make no, that agreement decided, afterwards? He decided to give me back the car only because they were moving away to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. and oh, that car it, but did you agree that that would be in lieu of paying the judgment? Yes. Did you agree? I would take See, back now, the Ms. car. See, now, Ms. Ortiz, you, you can't and get... And I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. You I can't get up. weak and just do whatever, and then come back here and ask me to undo the whatever that you just did. What has happened as far as your family is concerned since you left here? 
Carlos, I told him he should start and try and get a new lease on life. Mm -hmm. So they moved out to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Well, before we did okay. all that, let, Your Honor, let, Mr. Ortiz, second. I'm going to get to you. Let me finish with no, her, and then I'm going to turn to you and, and allow you to, to address everything. Please, let's not, Your Honor. Ms. Mr. Ortiz, I can handle this. You will get a full opportunity to be heard. We're going to finish her, and then I'll get to you. Go ahead. While he was in Puerto Rico, as a matter of fact, his family were calling me. They called me several times to say, if you ever leave Miss Beckett, please, would you please take him back? And I said to them, no way. He's gone His out of my life. His family was calling you to have yes. you take him back? No, yes. That's, that's, that's absurd. Right. Mr. Ortiz, why don't you respond to that? Because that doesn't make that, any sense to me. That, that, it, it doesn't make sense to me either. I mean, if I were to ever have a uh, fallout with LaShonda and when we're not together no more, my mistake was already made with her. I don't need to go back there. When divorce court continues, LaShonda pushes her luck with Judge Lynn. You didn't even want the kid to come live with you when you two were married because you didn't want to be bothered. This woman no, is not... That was... If you interrupt me one more time, I'm going to send you right out of the back of this courtroom. <laughs> Divorce isn't easy. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Luz Ortiz, who has full custody of her ex-husband Carlos's biological granddaughter and refuses to allow Carlos and LaShonda unsupervised visitation. But is Luz being unreasonable or realistically protective of the young child? Why would you now contend that she's not a good caregiver when you didn't even want to take care of your own flesh and blood? You say Mrs. Ortiz won't let you see your granddaughter. That is such Explain a lie. Explain that to me. Well, the situation is this. It's not just not wanting to see her, it's wanting to see her us as a family, Spend me time. as a grandfather. I always with have my a hey, hang on, time. just Miss Ortiz, please. Go Spend ahead. Spend time alone without Luce being there. Yeah. But Luce won't allow that. The she four has, of us. She has to be I, there. I, I have her best interest in heart. The four of you. Yeah, me? because you we have, have a child. baby, and so you want to be able to have the grandchild just for a couple of hours. Uh -huh. It's not an overnight. We don't even request overnight. We request several hours walking through the mall, uh, Go going the on a carousel, uh, uh, get on rides or something like this and bring her back safely, of course, and mm -hmm. secure her back to Luz. Is that true? Do they ask for just to take, uh... No, they've only asked once, and I told them straight we out. We asked a couple so of times. I have, I'll get I to I have you. my granddaughter's best interest at heart. When I got, was given custody of my granddaughter, mm -hmm. I've always had her best interest at heart. Well, what he interest was not in her life. Mr. Ortiz, I he will get to He was not you. in her life, hardly he ever. He was always in her life. He was always hey, on the road. Hey, hey. Well, You're trying, no, 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 no. You're in here trying to convince me to get her to let you see a child because you're reasonable people. That's you right. can't even be quiet when I ask you to. She's got to remember. That, that, that does not support your position, okay? Well, okay? I won't get to you. All right. He did see his granddaughter even before he went to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Always with me around, of course, but he did see her. His complaint see. seems to be that you won't allow him to see the grandbaby without you being physically present. No, because I'll, the judge gave me guardianship and right. custody of her mm -hmm. because I've always had her best interest at, at heart. heart. And I will not allow it at this time. Well, what are your wants, concerns? I think that because of the way everything went down, there was so much drama in her life that her being alone with them, I, I, I don't feel is the best interest for well, her. She just uh, respond to that. One time, for an instance, we went uh, to, to see uh, my granddaughter. It was my idea to say, let's pay a yeah, visit. Yeah, they always come You two are terrible over there. You can't even let your man finish a sentence. Mm -hmm. Let him speak. <laughs> we had a situation, OK? I'm not going to call it as critical, but we went to see uh, the grandchild, my grandchild, uh, just out of the blues to see how she was doing. It was after, after school. And when we got there, the, the grandchild was not there. Our grandchild was not there, and she was, with uh, her she was visiting a, a neighbor, according to Luz. Now, these people can actually uh, hold my grandchild, and they have any kind. They don't have no interest whatsoever in terms of being relatives. And right. here we are. I'm a relative, and I like to have a couple of hours without. Well, Luz then, well then that's interesting, Mr. Ortiz. You are a relative. She, you know, this is your sons. 
child, correct? That's right. Uh, you didn't even want custody. You didn't even want the kid to come live with you when you two were married because you didn't want to be bothered. This woman no, is not... Was... What, if you interrupt me one more time, I'm going to send you right out of the back of this courtroom. <laughs> You didn't even want to have the kid. You were going to let the child go into foster care before you would take it into your home. Why would you now contend that she's not a good caregiver when you didn't even want to take care of your own flesh and blood? Well, I didn't say that, that she's not a good uh, caregiver. What I am trying to say is at that moment, it was my son's responsible for that child. Now, I took it to the, to the limit, never... to the limit so that we won't be held responsible for the child. Now, of course, we're not going to let a child go ahead and, and get lost in the system, because that's a lot of children get lost. But you were. No, she I was headed to, in the limit. to foster I didn't, care. I didn't let it happen. As you can see, I you supported didn't let it Luz, was on the road too. When I went to pick her you, you up. You don't accept you, and, and adopt Ortiz, the, the child. You don't recall what you told me in this courtroom. You told me you didn't want the baby. You told me that's why you gave custody of that baby to your ex-wife, and she's not even blood-related to it. When divorce court continues, LaShonda claims Luz has a hidden agenda for not letting Carlos spend time with his granddaughter. I feel that Luz is racist. If you would like your case heard on divorce court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter, at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Carlos Ortiz, who wants his ex-wife to forgive and forget so that he and his young girlfriend can move on with their lives. Now, Ms. Beckett, you have been wanting to say something this whole time. We're going to make everybody else be quiet and let you speak. Why do you think she won't let you two have the baby alone? Your Honor, I think it's really because of, of me. I, I feel that Luz is racist. I don't know now, how to say that. Excuse now, me. Now, hang, yeah. on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> that's a that, lie. Th th that's a lightning charge. Because, why, why do you believe that? Because she always makes statements that she made this one statement that um, my, baby, my baby brother go to a school and it's all mixed kids. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good school, but it's in the, in the hood, the, right. the ghetto. So she made a statement and said, well, I don't want nobody chasing after me because they believe that I'm going to um, buy drugs. And they, that, they... And that was happening. Stop. I believe that they're going to chase after me because I'm white. So she believed that... She believed that the black people is going to chase after her because they think that she's white and she's coming to buy drugs. Do you well, think she's I, racist? I believe, I believe that the racial color is not as strong, but I think that the influences of, of other family members towards Luz... We're looking at what family members are telling Luke's. Don't let the baby go. With the babysitter. With the babysitter or with his wife. Hang on, hang on, hang and on. Hang on. Let, let me say this. Let me say this, Ms. Beckett. And I, and I got to say this. You know, um, what you did was scandalous. Yeah, but, you, but, but hang on. Hang on. <laughs> and I want you to remember what happened about your involvement. You didn't feel at all badly about sleeping with another woman's husband. Well, Your Honor, they was having problems before I even moved into the house. Mm -hmm. They was having problems. Did you if did... it wasn't going to be me, it would have been someone else. <laughs> now, I didn't look happy. And let me tell you why I didn't look happy. I'm sure I've told you that. I'm going to tell you again. Every marriage has struggles. And you're not supposed to sleep with other people's husbands. It's just, it's just bad business. It's, it's just, it's, it, it's just wrong. And, and, and don't you see that, having done that, that Ms. Ortiz has some negative feelings towards you? Would you, I mean, don't you understand, accept, and appreciate that? Yeah, but that was the past. Let her, let her respond, and then I'll let you talk. Yeah, I understand, Your Honor, but that, that, that was the past now. We're, you know, we're looking at the future now. When divorce court continues, will Judge Lynn convince Luz to allow Carlos unsupervised visits with his own granddaughter? I think you're wrong keeping the baby from him. I'm not. I, no, no, no. I think you are. And, I, and I, I don't blame you on an emotional level because you're hurt. Be that as it may, I don't see anything that makes me believe that they have a bad environment.
Divorce court returns with the case of Carlos Ortiz, who says his divorce from Luz isn't working because she refuses to allow his girlfriend and him unsupervised time with his granddaughter. What do you do to make up for what you did at all in her direction? Have you done, have you, have you, no, have you written her a letter? Only, have you, have you, you have no. you said I'm sorry? Have no, you said I had nothing. Have you made anything all easier for her? All they came back for is ask for favors left and right. What kind of favors? The favors, the favors. For instance, can you please pick us up and take us to my, to, Your Honor, him. that's I'll my get father's you. I'll get to, to my you. father's house because uh, we're going to be staying there for about 14 days. Three days after that, they called me from another location asking for me to pick them up and bring them back to Miss Beckett's sister's house. What is your version of those events? Your Honor, this is what's going on. Yes, we've asked her to take us places because we didn't have a car when we first got to Florida. But we still have a friendship. We still have uh, a, a, a main body in this ordeal that's in between us. How do I get to see my grandchild if I don't ask her, he doesn't come understand. on over here okay. and meet us at this place? Okay. Ms. Ortiz, let me ask you something. One he hand say, he's saying something interesting. As tacky and trifling as they were, it seems to me that, and much to your credit, you have forgiven them and maintained a relationship with the two of them. Is that accurate? Yeah, well, that's how racist I am, that I still maintain a relationship <laughs> with them, you well, know? Regardless and that's of because that, yeah. of my granddaughter. What happened two and a half years ago, it, we over it. We have to continue You're our over friendship. It. The question is, is we, she over it? Because nobody hurt you. Okay, well, you we want to work, Your Honor, we want to work with her to get over it. What? We want to work with her for her to get over it. Mrs. Ortiz, let me say this to you. I think you're wrong keeping the baby from him. I'm not. I, no, no, no. I think you are. And, I, and I, I don't blame you on an emotional level because you're hurt. Be that as it may, I don't see anything that makes me believe that they have a bad environment. And I don't see any reason they why. They didn't even have a his, place to stay. I am speaking. Any reason why they wouldn't be permitted to take the baby to the park or anything like that. And I, I, I want you to put that baby's interest before your hurt. You want to sue him for $60. I just think that's silly. But I go know, ahead. it's silly. It's silly, but, and, and I wouldn't do it, except that he, he agreed that he would. He called me frantically one day while I was picking up my granddaughter from school, and he said, I'm short 60 bucks. I need, I need to get the insurance deposit in so I can get the vehicle out of mm -hmm. In the Bauer, dealership. Uh, yeah, huh? yeah. I have no problem paying the 60 bucks back. It, it was either or. It was either giving my 60 no, bucks uh -uh. back or there'll be other, like, cleaning the and pool. And you have no problem grab. paying the $60. It's $60. I have a pool right? man. You got a gig, right? You know. Correct. Uh, I have a pool Mrs. man. Mrs. Ortiz, you make sure that you put the rights of the children before you, any hurt or rights that you have. Just, I'm just, I've always. blanket statement, blanket statement. And sometimes it feels one way when it's really another. Mr. Ortiz, I'm sorry that you don't get to see your granddaughter more than you can, but you kind of bought it when you didn't take the responsibility of, of taking her on. Ms. Beckett, uh, stay cool, stay calm. Yeah. Never forget the wrong that you did when you deal with her, because that, that is what it is. And the fact that you're moving forward doesn't mean that um, you've made up for the past. $60 in favor of Mrs. Ortiz. It is so ordered. All right. Parties may leave the courtroom. Luz says she took Judge Lynn's advice to allow Carlos to see his granddaughter. On the Sunday following their divorce court appearance, she invited him to join his granddaughter and her in the park only five minutes from his house. After one and a half hours of waiting, she called him to find out if he was coming, and Carlos told her he'd seen them in the water park area, but was not prepared to join them and went home. Luz says she never has denied Carlos the right to see his granddaughter, but Carlos has never made an effort to see her.